Now, speaking of being yes. on knees, we, yeah. you just got this, engaged. I literally have just been in this position, um, yes. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks. Um, How and, did it go? I just proposed to my girlfriend, Ramona. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And she said yes! Yeah, she said yes. Yeah. Um, and so, and I got, I was like, do I get down on one knee? What do I do? And I was like, what did you I do? may as well. So I got down on one knee and then she, like what you're doing, goes, well, you can't be the only one on your knees. So she got down as well. Yes, because she's a giver, not yeah. a taker. Yes. And we were in the Disneyland, the happiest proposal place on earth. Um, and um, so we're in the middle of Disneyland proposing. Um, and luckily they put some topiary trees around us to give us a little bit of privacy. And it was just beautiful. And um, she said yes. And then I was like, oh, okay, great. Um, and then I was so overwhelmed that afterwards we went on a ride, this new ride they had. And I kind of collapsed afterwards because I was so like overwhelmed with, because I'd never been engaged before or proposed to or proposed. So I, it was like such a huge thing in my life. And then we went on this new ride and I go, hang on, I just have to like, and I just like literally collapsed on the floor for like five minutes. And then I go, okay, I'm good. Let's get churros and um, oh, let's. Adrenaline. <laughs> yeah, oh, sure, I know. Cure I know. anything. By the way, yeah. all that adrenaline. Right. You also picked up the phone and called Bob Iger. Yes. Like well, the president of all of Disney. Like I had the grand poobah. Like yeah, the he's, puppet master. He's the big, the big, big boss. And I thought, well, if he says yes, then it was meant to be and I was meant to propose that day at Disneyland. And because I had to get special permission to get a special area roped off and yeah. get the topiary trees in and... Uh, you know, and a violinist playing like <laughs> Disney classics. And it was very, yeah, it was really romantic. So I just, I did go to the big boss to get permission. He's like the one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like that's so cool. Yeah. And they couldn't close down the whole park. Uh, we just got one little section. <laughs> I love that. There's so much sort of beauty and romance and elegance to the way that you went about it. Aww. And I was curious that you started a new dating app. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it's called Fluid, everyone, and you can download it now. Um, and it was kind of like inspired by my journey to love. And I, you know, and probably like, you know, I was on a dating app and... Um, I think we're on the same one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and it was, on that dating app, you had to kind of tick a box and you kind of had to label yourself and label what you were interested in, yeah. uh, who you were interested in. And I always felt weird and I ticked, oh, I'm a woman interested in men. And, and then it felt really weird. And some of the Pitch Perfect girls were like, oh, if you tick women interested in women, you can check out your competition. Um, and so like I, and I ticked it once and then, and then uh, some, I don't know, newspaper said I was bisexual or whatever. And I went, oh. Wait, wait. they found out? Yeah, I don't, you know. Because that's the whole point of the privacy. So I just thought, well, what if there's a dating app where you don't have to label yourself or what you're interested in? Because I do think from my own journey, and I'm obviously in an amazing same-sex relationship now, but was someone who primarily dated men before that. And, and so what if I'd had a dating app where I could be free to explore and then I didn't have to label myself? And I think sexuality is so much more complex and nuanced than, you know, having to put a label. And I guess if you ask any young... A young like superstar like Harry Styles or Lizzo or whatever like they're all they're all over this fluid concept um, but to me it was different and I and I thought oh if only that dating app had been around five years ago it would have helped me yeah because I do uh, think yeah. that you're at, no I'm a weirdo I'm sorry <laughs> um, I do think that there is a white space a marketplace mm -hmm. a need um, you know, well, it's a very like I think the, some of the other dating apps are now outdated a bit because there is a need for this new concept of fluidity and you know, and your sexuality may slightly change, and this app will the algorithm will go with you, um, and just you know, you're open to more possibilities. Actually, you're open to a wider dating pool, well, which I'm could be beneficial. So excited yeah, for thanks. this, and it's something that I you know is so important to me. And I was inspired by a lot of the young kids on my movie Senior Year, and I was like, well, there's no dating app for them right now. And well, so thanks to like, you. Yeah, I'll get. I'll Guess get what? You know, now they're in my spare time. <laughs> thanks to Rebel. Now, now yeah. there is.
Uh, one of my hardest yeah. part uh, I, about I love this being one. on the dating app is I can't figure oh, out who oh. the hell anyone is. The guys, they put oh. the weirdest, they put the weirdest things I'm wearing a dress, on the app right? for their description. And then you, and then the whole point is you could go into their Instagram account to find them. My, my, and now I've got my miners cap on, and a, mm -hmm. you know, I need a PI license to figure out who anybody is. Now all the Instagram accounts are private, so oh. whatever gets a little bit of information out there would also be appreciated. Mm.